Hey all, welcome back to my channel, to Sonicy here, and today is going to be my second unboxing on packaging of fabric from Esters. Again, this is Esters in Osu, which is in Accra in Ghana, West Africa. I did my last minute shopping, not last minute shopping. I did my shopping for the things I want to take with me. This is a huge piece. So here's a trick to counting fabric. Let me teach you guys real quick, okay? See how this is folded right here? Okay, first of all, she folds it in thirds and she folds it salvage to salvage. This one is folded right here. So this is two yards, four, six, seven. So this is a seven yard. That's a quick, easy way to be able to count how much yardage you have from her particular shop. I love this one. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure that I bought another piece of it that you saw in my first, um, my first video for showing you my fabric I got from Esther. I kind of figured that would happen because I didn't go, I didn't take too, many, too much time in between visits. So I kind of thought, okay, I'm probably gonna end up with some of the similar fabrics. That's okay. Obviously, if I was attracted to it a second time, it just means I love it, right? Um, there are some new pieces. I did buy some new stuff that sh uh, what she said was made in between the visits. I'm not, I don't even remember how spaced out my visits were. I don't think they were that spaced out. So definitely going to have some reruns over here. I love this one. This is such a great colorway. I just love this blue, right? Look at that. Let me open that up a little, actually. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. I love it. It looks so good. So I think I bought maybe all of the fabric that she had for a couple. Actually, let's get through this and see because maybe I only bought all of it for maybe like one or two. Got another one. I love this colorway. I love this stamp. Nice big stamp with the little stamp behind it. That might be one stamp. I kind of know some of the stamps that Esther uses just because I've been to her shop so many times. Uh, I did have the opportunity to be able to make my own fabric. I've incorporated that into the different quilts I've made. I know that I already bought this one. If you saw my first, um, if you saw my first unboxing or unpacking of fabric from Esther's, I definitely bought a piece of this one that first time. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I've made fabric. I've made my own fabric. So I know the stamps and also Esther has a very distinct style. Um, her fabric is sold kind of all over the place. People import it into the States. It's in Europe. You kind of get to know like who makes what, you know, she's just like any other fashion designer. She's just like any other designer. You get to know who they are, their style, their colors. This colorway that she does, not the colorway, not the not the specific color, but the style of color, the ombre effect, the, the tie dyeing of it all. This is definitely just like Esther, just so plainly seen if you're if you're aware of it. Uh, I got another stripe. I always love to use stripes for bindings. I mentioned that last time. I might have already got this one too. I know that I got an orange and blue piece. I'm not sure if it was this one exactly though. Hmm, I'll have to double check. These are all just going to kind of go in my stash. A little bit of rustling of the plastic. Sorry about that. I really like this one. I just, I, I definitely was in like a blue mood, a, a, the color blue when I went and purchased some things this day. I don't think I had this one before. I don't think it was new either. Let's count the yardage. Two, four, yeah, that's only four yards. That one might have been a new one that she had on the shelves when I showed up. Also, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, this one is new, for sure. This one is a new one that she had. Really deep greens, red, yellow. I mean, let's take a look and see if we can figure out the stamp. Very geometric. Okay, here you can see this. Can you see this lined out? So I'm a little bit off camera. Sorry about that. You can see this lined out here, right here. So you can see that this is the repeat that she has. Whoops, got caught on my silhouette. I love this. I love this table. This sewing table is, I think it's 
six feet long and I have a cutout here you can see that's underneath the silhouette. This cutout is for a sewing machine. I have a cutout on the other end as well. That's the area that I sit at that I sew. My sewing machine is in there. I'll have another video up about my sewing room before we leave so you can check out my layout. I love this one. I like this for backgrounds. This again is another um, repeating square. You can Sometimes you can see in the dying like where the line ends up. Not usually, like look at the rest of it. You cannot really tell, right? You got a little bit here at the top and you got a little bit here, but like you can't see in the rest of it. They all just do such a good job. It's so precise. I hesitate to say perfect. I do not believe in perfection. That is not a thing. Two more pieces left. I think these were new. Okay, let's check them out. These might've been the new ones. I just loved how fun and colorful these were. These are purples, greens, blues, aqua. I love the palm tree. I think you can tell what the fabric, sorry, what the, not what the stamp is. You can tell what the stamp is, but it doesn't like stand out distinctly as this is a palm tree. You know, take a look at this. You can see it now, right? You can see the different trees that are in this pattern from the stamp that was used. But when you look at this fabric, you don't immediately think, oh, palm tree. You don't think tree. You just see the colors and the saturation and the dyeing and the fact that it's been over dyed. You can tell how many times it's been dyed by how layered the, the color is. Okay, this is the one that I did buy all of. Let me open this up and show you. Again, my little trick about counting the yardage. Count it by the folds. I bought the whole entire thing. Let me open this up a little. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, love it. So, so beautiful. Again, I was in a blue, a blue mood. Uh, blue is definitely my favorite color probably my absolute favorite color. Sometimes when I'm buying fabric at Esther's shop, I would stack the fabric up, you know, just like I'll take this and I'll take this and I'll take that. And then I realize, oh shoot, I have a lot of blue. Here's a blue. I have a lot of blue. Maybe I should pick a different color. And then I go for something like this. Oh look, that's blue, but it still has some orange in it. You know, fun things like that. I really loved being able to make one last purchase. I'm pretty sure it's my last purchase. I'm getting ready to pack out. Um, anybody familiar with military knows that we move all the time. It's just another thing that we have to do, another, another list of places we can write down that we live. I'm going to pack up my sewing room. I'll have a video up about the sewing room soon because I wanna show my layout for this one. I think I was able to use it, this room, in such a good way. I'm pretty sure, so these are really similar, right? They're not exactly the same. They're not even the same color, but they definitely coordinate. I suppose you have some pink and you have some pink. But I just love the color combinations. I'm really gonna miss having access to shopping directly at Esther's shop. And I'm probably going to be very pleasantly surprised when I see some of her fabrics somewhere around any shop that I'm going to frequent. Maybe that's not gonna be at a mainstream um, quilt shop. It's not gonna be sold somewhere big, but somebody who has been here, somebody who knows the fabric world of West Africa, of Ghana, of Accra, you come to Accra, you go see Esther. And you tell her I sent you, tell her I said hi. Tell her I said her fabrics are the most beautiful and the ones that everybody needs to stop in and see before they go. All right, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. I will see you soon.